And welcome back once again to the Endurance Hour podcast, episode 244. Alongside Wendy Mater, I'm Dave Erickson. We are focusing on one topic, one question, and this one comes from a member of our T2 Endurance Club on Facebook, and they write, Hi, Wendy. I have a goal of completing my first triathlon this year. Congratulations. I was hoping you would help with the bike I should buy. Right now, I have a Kona mountain bike and maybe an idea of how much I should be training for this triathlon. Wendy, we have some options for her that are uh, from free to paid. Right. This is. I love this question because I remember my first race like it was yesterday and it was over 26 years ago. So... You know, when it comes to choosing a bike, I think one of the best advices I ever got was don't buy the first, if you're looking for a road bike, don't buy the first bike you, you ride. And, and I did like first road bike I got on because my first triathlon, I actually did on a mountain bike. So there's nothing wrong with doing your first triathlon on the mountain bike you have and save your money and purchase a road bike if you think you're going to want to continue with the sport. But don't feel ashamed or shy that you're riding a mountain bike because a lot of people during their first event will. I did my first event on a mountain bike. And so when I was searching for road bikes, oh my God, it was so fast and so fun. And I wanted to buy it. And then I remember this advice that I trusted from my friends and I didn't. And I did a little bit of research and I did some shopping and um, I ended up getting the bike I got, um, which, which was a road bike and it was, it was great. So a few things to look for when you're, um, looking at road bikes is you could see two identical road bikes or tri bikes. They're both, they're both going to be effective. I recommend a, a road bike for your first one. Um, the, you're going to look, look at two identical bikes. Maybe they both are carbon frame. Maybe they're both aluminum or titanium. One's going to be $5,000 and one's going to be $3,000. And you're going to be like, why are they so different? Well, the price of the components, um, the chain, the crank, the, the brakes, the brake pads, and all those various things that help put your bike together, they have different levels and different cost levels. And that's really what separates um, the cost of two identical looking bikes. So you want to make sure you have some knowledge of that. When you go into the bike shop, make sure, um, don't plan to buy a bike and tell the bike shops you're just looking and you're looking for education. And if they give you good customer service, then yeah, you should buy your bike from them. Also look at um, bike groups or bike forums that you trust. Um, a lot of times elite age group athletes or professional athletes will be selling their bike for a very affordable price and they've only used it for one year. So that's a great way to use, to buy a used bike. But really what I should mention also is have a price budget that you think you're going to want to spend and, and try to stick within your budget. Maybe that will mean going on Craigslist or eBay or something like that. But if you have a bike, you can ride your mountain bike and, and that'll be fine. With regards to how much you need to train, we have a couple training programs we offer. One is a free sprint that you can go to endurancehour.com and download that right now. It's a eight-week training plan, Dave, or is it 12? I believe it's, it's eight. eight. It's a PDF download. Yeah. And we also have a couch to sprint training plan that's 16 weeks, and we have a more advanced sprint on training peaks that you can purchase. But generally speaking, um, depending on your background, your strengths, whether you have swimming background, maybe you're a biker, maybe you're a runner, um, maybe you're just a general fitness enthusiast. You're, you're looking at, you know, maybe three to about five hours of training a week. So it's not going to take over your life and you can still enjoy other activities besides swimming, biking and running. Um, if you don't know how to swim, I would start there. Um, start with some local swim lessons, send me a free um, video for swim analysis, as well as a running analysis, if you're not really a runner and you have some questions about that. But we definitely want to see you successful and continue on the, the journey. And maybe it becomes a lifestyle for you, the sport of triathlon. And when you go to these uh, bike shops, just say, I'm here researching some bikes and I'm interested in getting fitted uh, and knowing what bike is going to best fit me because that's, that's the key point. to a lot of it is, is bike fit. I got my first bike was my first road bike because I did my first triathlon on a cross bike. It was a mountain bike that was converted had skinnier tires. Uh, but then I ended up getting a, Fu, a, Fu, a Fuji finest and I didn't get, I just got it cause it was a, it, it was, it was a reasonably priced and you can get a, a decent bike for, you know, a grand. So it's don't have to worry about these three, four or $5,000 bikes. 
and your mountain bike's gonna be fine. Tell them that you're there to research and then um, just find out, get a bike that's fitted for you. That's what I would kind of follow up with. Yeah, and if you know, you're in our T2 Endurance Facebook group already, so if you do some research and you still have more questions, you know, just ask us, you know, this is what you found out. Mm -hmm. Ask us what we think about it. Um, We want to make sure we steer you in the right direction because we were first timers back in the day. So we understand what it's like to be a newbie. Be I was used to be so intimidated walking in bike shops mm-hmm. um, because I didn't know anything. I didn't know what I didn't know. I didn't know what I was supposed to know. And I, I didn't want to be sold anything without having the proper knowledge about it. Yeah. Go with a friend. That might make it a little bit easier. Uh, one, one, one form that I can suggest would just be slow twitch. They have a classifieds section there. I don't know if you have any okay. others that you might suggest besides Craigslist of finding a bicycle. You know, when I, when I was a student at Colorado State University, I always went to the um, the cycling community there because I was a student. So they always had a cycling forum and a cycling like Craigslist. Same with the triathlon team at the local university. Mm. Um, you know, the like-minded people, cyclists and triathlon teams is where you want to um, you know ask around and ask questions with people you trust and and maybe search a local try or cycling club that you might want to join locally and they're going to help you out yep well thank you for the question that was from inside our t2 endurance club group on facebook if you have a question for us you can post it there join the group or you can send it to endurancehour at gmail.com or send us a voicemail and go to speakpipe.com slash endurance hour until next time for wendy mater i'm dave erickson thanks so much for listening we'll see you next time adios adios